It's like, I know she was hurt. I know he wanted, but he just like, no. Cause he's still mad at you. He don't want to give it to you. Like, nigga, I'm still mad at you. You ain't just about to get these goods that easy. Like how you just got the shit and bounce. No. We learned that mistake the last time. But the feelings are still there though, bitch. So I know you want that dick, baby. So get that dick. What's up, you guys? It's me, Reggie. Your favorite three down. She be a taku hottie. And as you can see by the title of the middle of this video, same day, same shirt, same bitch. We are continuing our viewing of We Best Love, season two, fighting Mr. Second. And bitch, these boys were ready to bring the heat. Episode one literally served us everything that we needed. It picked right back up, girl, at the end of season one, when we saw Shuda give him that good slap, goddamn. Chewy is fucking spiteful. He's upset. He's heartbroken. Fucking Shide is just remorseful and is just trying to crawl his way back into his man's life. And just all of the emotions that they made me feel, or all the emotions that they felt, they made me feel. Because Chewy girl, again, I understand your pain. I knew that after five years of not seeing your man barely having any interaction, girl, you just, mm, them emotions, just everything came to a head and you just slapped the shit out this motherfucker. But, but, niece, we ain't, we ain't for the motherfucking physical abuse. That's one thing we not gonna do. It was, it was somewhat okay because we understood where the slap came from. But after he walked into your house and you let him in your house and let him cook your meal, that punch, it looked like a punch damn near to me. It looked like a slack. Like he punched this nigga. We ain't for that shit. Okay, we're not for the physical abuse. I know you mad, but calm your ass down. Calm your tits. Because if he had a stole off on your ass back and y'all got to fight him, it probably would have led to some good anger sacks or whatever, bitch. But if he had stuck your ass back, you'd be looking like, oh my God. So cut it out. The way they ended that episode, again, we, we see the game she was trying to play. He just want to hurt his man. He want to make his man feel the same level of hurt that he felt when he fucking saw him with that bitch. Which again, I hate that that is the source of the conflict because it's a stupid ass misunderstanding. I'm sure that baby was his baby brother. I'm sure that bitch was his stepsister. Just baby, talk to him, please. I know you don't want to because this nigga was MIA for quite a long time. But if you want to properly move on and get closure, you need to talk to him. Bitch, I'm just ready to see what episode two gives because by the look of the preview, girl, we got some tea. Daddy probably coming into the picture because if you remember at the end of episode six, I think, or five from season one, when the whole, you know, butler or whatever, who the fuck that was, spilled the beans on Shui being in love. Daddy was like, what? He's what, what, what? So I kind of figured that he was going to be a problematic bitch and just be like the source of just like, you know, just fuckery and foolery and of course you know in dramas parents are always the bad guy so i'm just really hoping that after mommy dearest was just such a loving beacon of light and positivity why the fuck does daddy gotta come up in here and get it between our boys why you gotta be a musty bitch we don't want that but nevertheless i am ready to hop into this episode so first y'all know the real tea go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more taco bl food related content hit that like to let me know that you guys want more we best love fighting mr second and wrap it up with that triple and ring that little bit so you know exactly where the bitch goes live. And yes, let's cut the chit chat and get straight to the show. But before we do, cue my intro. Is it Shide? Cause Shide need a drink. Bitch, it's Shuey, he need one too. Cause all y'all fucked up in the head right now, honestly. Look at you reminiscing. I know you reminiscing. What you looking at the video, the picture, the text? I know he getting drunk, but I thought he was gonna be at least like, oh my god, my man. But he looking at the shit that got him fucked up in the head. He looking at that bitch. It ain't what it's giving, boo. Stop falling into like the depths of despair in your own mind and talk to him. 
Oh, Lola, baby. You, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <sighs> the effects of heartbreak. My baby going through it. Um, I'm too timid to face it. Oh, that baby is hard. My sister is a joke to you. You didn't even say goodbye. Mm. I'm paying a day betrayed by the trusted one. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Give me that dick, nigga. Not in the office, though. Niggas are still there. Them doors, they look like they had locks on them. Like, that shit don't look secure. Like, girl. Right, don't be, don't be shook, boo. Don't be gagged. You just, you just pushed up on him and said, "What's up?" And now he's reciprocating. Don't be scared. Don't be shook now. You had the dick before. You know what it feel like, girl. Don't be worried. Don't be scared. Sure, okay. Okay, bitch. Just cause you want the D, he gon' he gonna put the deepest of dickens on your ass. He go you gon' remember that relationship, bitch. You gon' want him back. He said he gonna put it on you. You asked for it, you about to get it. You literally said it. His shirt is literally unbuttoned because you fucking was about to go there with him. It's okay. He's hurt. He was just trying. He was playing because he thought he was really about to turn the ties on your ass because he's the one that's fucked up. But she day, what the fuck did you do for five fucking years? Like, that is, again, the, the whole tea. Like, what the fuck? Hey, sweetie. Baby, why you gotta bring it up? <laughs> why y'all gotta bring it up? Obviously. Now don't be lashing out at them now. They just trying to help. See, thank, thank you. See, this is why we appreciate him. Because he, he the one that's going to give it to Shuri. He don't give a fuck. Like, yes, you. I keep forgetting their names because I'm, I'm bad with the Taiwanese names. But best friend, he just trying to, like, you know, do the right thing and stay out the way. But him, boyfriend right there to the left, he going to give it to you. Okay, he, that's why That's why you need bitches like him. You don't need yes men. And not saying baby daddy to the right is a yes man. But no, bitch, we just trying to help you. Don't be fucking taking out your frustrations on us. We are your actual friends. We're at work as work. But now we talking about more than just work. So don't, don't fucking come at me like that, bitch, when I'm trying to help your mental. And then you got baby daddy. She date up in here looking all crazy in front of his motherfucking subordinates and shit. Got the outside niggas coming in making him look all kind of ways. But this blue suit, damn, she, mm. They look so good in their fucking office attire. Hey, 
你了解我的口味，你帮我决定就好。好，对。吃粥，吃粥两位。啊，对，因为他空腹不可以有搭配，帮我看着。And then I was wondering, like, the coworkers probably looking like, damn, our boss is a bitch. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. See, he he he's rising for me. He's rising for me. Right, exactly, like. See, baby, do you go being selfish? Right. Right, and the one time you finally trust the nigga, he just fuck you up like that, baby. I know. He was the first. So you let your friend just be there. And that's again, he did not. Again, he still fucked up for just leaving you hanging, but he did not betray your trust because that ain't his baby, but I promise you. Okay, both heads, bitch. Yes, thank you. What is it, my baby smiling again? Of course. Of course she did was right there listening. Of course. And you gotta you gotta accept that because you did that shit. You did it. You did it. at least you know so you can actually like try to like swoon his ass for real for real. Now that you know the actual tea, so you ain't falling for this little stupid ass games he playing. This nigga. And I know it's it's painful to knowing that he over here lying to you trying to play this game. And I'm betting like she did probably like I can't even really move forward with this knowing that what you're doing is a fucking game. Like this ain't even real. Like he's actually trying to like make it up to you. And you just don't like it's just all for naught. Oh, I never missed that you had like a little beauty mark under his eye. I think they said beauty marks are right there, like you know, sign of being a bad bitch. Come on, music. Look at dead in the eyes. Dead in his eye. Look at this nigga dead in the eye.
Why she was gonna feel bad that he doing this shit? I'm just, I'm just waiting for the moment for them to just let it all out. Like, listen, nigga, you hurt me to the core. I trusted you when you fucking betrayed my ass. You don't know how fucking hard that hurt me. You know how much I had to go through, nigga. And then she to go like, I know, baby, I know. I'm sorry. Please take me back, please. And what the fuck is Doctor Daddy doing? Did he oh like did he actually open up that business or something? Did he mention opening like a business at the end of season one? Come on, cousin. Give him that good big bro goddamn advice. Ew, but not smoking with cigarettes. You a doctor. You know that ain't good for your health. Mm. Okay, and for fucking why? Spill the tea, bitch. We need to know why. Like, come on. What promise to who? If it wasn't a promise you made with your mama, what promise was better? Who the fuck mattered more to you than your mama or Shuey? Your daddy gone. Who the fuck you made this promise with that kept you from contacting your nigga? Because what? Was it worth it? <gasps> Wait a second. I just thought about this. I told y'all daddy was looking like he was getting fucked up in the head or he was just doing something stupid last season. Did his daddy, con did Shuey's daddy contact him? Bitch. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Um, both of y'all just drunk in love. Mm. Both of y'all. Both of y'all on the same shit. Both of y'all just fucked up. He at the bar drinking it out. You fucking drink. You should got somebody to talk to. She wouldn't even have nobody to talk to, really. I mean, yeah, he did because his friends know about the tea, so... Love my boys, y'all just uh, y'all gotta do better. And Doctor Daddy gone be the motherfucking catalyst to help these niggas get back together. Gone do what you do. Okay, is Doctor Daddy getting his time to shine? Is he about to run into his crazy ass nigga? Oh damn! That quick. <laughs> the girls are crazy. Different type of nigga when he in love, cause that ain't giving me the same L like nigga that was I'm hunched up in the motherfucking chair at work. Of course, of course he's there, drunk as hell. Oh, the drunk ass. Hi. He's so cute. How are you just gonna walk past him like that?
You don't smell the alcohol, huh? You know what he doing. Mm. Right, see how he pushed his hand, but then he know he, she would know he won't have. Brother, like, he drunk. You're not. You could literally just leave. Oh, Lord, here you go. He drunk as hell. All the emotions coming out. Just, just be open and honest. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Just, just spill the tea, honey. Just let them know what's up. Just, you sorry. Just tell them you sorry. He drunk as hell. He might not remember this tomorrow, but at least you will know the real tea so you can stop acting the way you act at. Like, he not letting you leave. Like, I don't know why you think you about to leave the house. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, it's happening. They about to fuck. They about to fuck. Booty hoes is coming out. Like, listen, he, he could literally refuse him. Should we know he want the pipe? That's why he not really, like, trying it. You better act, Sam. That's all we need to know. And tell him that you know he trying to play you so he can stop that shit. So when he so if he really wanna get with you, that's gonna happen. Right, that's all he wanna know. Cause what like what promise? What? What promise is greater than your man? Because I know your mama, the way she was feeling him, didn't tell you to stop fucking with this nigga. I know it ain't her. Like, looking at what I'm knowing now, it has to be she was daddy. She was daddy did something. It had to be. It had to be. His hand is definitely on his crotch. <laughs> like, you, girl, I saw that. That was your time to explain, like, why. <sighs> Y'all pissing me off. Clear the air. Just come on. At least let him know that you know he fucking with you so we can just stop that bullshit. So I can get back to the cute lovey dovey and the real shit.
做。我不想知道。<laughs> She ain't drunk as fuck, just tossing this nigga briefcase everywhere, like. But all these drunken man, drunken man words are sober man thoughts, so tell this nigga the fucking truth. Right. Nigga, please. But I don't like this. I don't like how, like, she was just sitting here taking this. Like, this is almost a little creepy ass, but not really. But it is. Because it's just like, nigga, what? I mean, because he is saying no. Like, get the fuck off him now. Oh, oh, oh. When you want it, you want it. Just go ahead. Let yourself have it, boo. Your mind's telling you no. Wait, I shouldn't sing R. Kelly in this situation. Never mind. <laughs> I should not be singing R. Kelly in this situation. Never mind. But he is still showing some resistance. So, baby, get off of him. Get off of him. It's like, I know she was hard. I know he wanted, but he just like, no. Nah. Cause he's still mad at you. He don't want to give it to you. Like, nigga, I'm still mad at you. You ain't just about to get these goods that easy. Like how you just got the shit and bounce. No, we learned that mistake the last time. But the feelings are still there though, bitch. So I know you want that dick, baby. So get that dick. Oh girl, the ooh, the ooh, oh ooh. The soft touch, the caress, the kiss. Again, your fucking BL phase could never serve this level of passion. Cause they too scared. They too, they too scared, they too conflicted. I don't like niggas. So what? Your character like niggas. So like that nigga. Come on, let's take from season one. Yes, get your nigga. Get your nigga. Let yourself have this moment for at least one night. If you don't, even if y'all don't pick back up, just let you have, just bitch, have this one night. Just this, mm. Your face could never. Is this you song? Is this the song y'all were talking about when this is you? Come on, Chewy. Get your man. Get your man at the depths. No? Oh, okay. Hey, he got the Punani. He got the Disney. So where are we going from this? Because y'all finally cave. Y'all know that the emotions are still there. Yes, he's mad at you. Y'all mad at you. Well, you're not mad at him, Chewy, because bitch, how dare you? But, yeah. It's kind of out there now. We we know where we stand with the feelings and things, but bitch, we still got beef to unravel. And yes, you butt ass naked on this couch. Let me see your girl and the bunch of young people. You Nigga, look at you, duh. Uh-oh. Ha-ha-ha, bitch. Does daddy not know his son's a fag? 
I told you, I told you, I told you. I knew it was his daddy. I knew it was his fucking daddy. I told you, I knew it was fucking Shuri's daddy that did that shit. Right, like, bitch, what you mean you don't know him? You just say a promise. My, my bitch ain't stupid. I knew it was his fucking... Oh! Huh. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, so... Oh, so baby boy, Dr. Daddy, Dr. Daddy must got the good Disney because he got niggas over here ready to shank a bitch. Oh, girl. Okay, okay, all right, bitch. What I tell you, what I tell, I told y'all, I can, I can smell the timelines, bitch. I can gaze into the BL future. Something literally told me because at the end of season one, I remembered the butler or whoever that nigga is. When he told daddy that she was in love, he was like, what, 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 what? So I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck could you have talked to in America that would have kept you from fucking seeing your man? Your mama clearly loves this fucking nigga, so clearly she didn't tell you to fucking not talk to him. Y'all had that whole fucking conversation on the plane and everything. Like, no. There's nobody that you know in America that you would fucking form a bond with and fucking make a promise to not see somebody that you care about. Because I know you was talking about shit while you was there. So, what the fuck? All signs pointed to Musty Daddy. And there we go. Daddy fucking stank as fuck. He looked like a good daddy on the outside or whatever, bitch. But I just, I smell the must. I smell it. So, uh, I'm just, this episode was fucking great. Once again, pacing. The We Best Love Team Don't Miss. We already got the aftermath from season one, episode two. Things are starting to be put more out there. The boys are like, listen, nigga, I know you still like me. I still like you. That's why they clearly fucked, even though she day is drunk as hell, so he don't really remember the revelations he had. But again, here come Musty Daddy coming in on cue to further goddamn air shit out. Because episode three better be fucking picking up from that and be like, oh, what promise? Because now you done told her yourself, daddy. How you don't know each other, but you came in here talking about some you broke the promise? Clearly, bitch, I heard that. How do y'all know each other? Spill the tea right fucking now. So. Once again, once again, the We Best Love team is on that shit. So yes, you guys, I just, ah, oh, this was such a whirlwind. And then Dr. Daddy's nigga coming at the gate being all like, oh my God, I've been looking for 12 years, nigga. She we fucking said, fuck a five years. You've been looking for this nigga for 12? Like, nigga, 12? She day, Shawi, I think that was his name. It, the good dick must run in the family, okay? Because y'all got these bottoms out here going fucking crazy. And I just, it makes for good TV, girl, but goddamn, y'all got a bitch emotionally just, oh, all over the place. But yes, ah, uh, I'm just... I have no more words. I'm just ready to see how things continue to play out. I'm ready to see episode three because girl, what the fuck? So again, y'all know the tea. Like, comment, subscribe. What did you think about this episode down below? Bitch, and I'm ready to get into it. I told myself I was probably gonna stop today for episode two, but after seeing how the girls keep pacing it, I just have, you know, I'm pretty sure at, at the things, like, you know, at the rate that things are going, then I'm gonna fucking just binge the rest of this shit today. But just, oh my God. I'm going to stop talking and I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.